groovy. Hey again, gang. In the background is some TDM gameplay on Battlefield 5's ARAS map. Don't worry, you're not going to miss any stellar outflanking or kick-ass gunplay from me while I chat away here. The point of the video isn't to show off how bad I am at the game. I'm pretty good at doing that myself. Rather, it's to show how effective SLI is at kicking Battlefield 5's frame rate up. Now, I know SLI is a topic that can spawn endless debates. Detractors of the technology say things like, no games are supporting it. NVIDIA isn't banding in it. And then they fall back on saying, well, you're just wasting your money. You're doubling your cost and not doubling your frame rate. They're slightly right in that game devs, devs do seem somewhat hesitant to support it. NVIDIA has not abandoned the technology, however. However, they're absolutely right that SLI customers are doubling their spend without seeing a doubling in frame rate. So what? SLI users know that, and we don't care. Really, we don't. We're after a higher frame rate in the games that we like to play than a single card can deliver. Period. Now, someone at DICE, or someone at NVIDIA, or both, decided that Battlefield 5 would not support SLI out of the box. Which is a shame since Battlefield 1 does so wonderfully. I've known since playing the first close alpha of Battlefield 5 that the SLI profile would not allow it to use more than one GPU, and I quickly worked around it. I'm going to show you how to do that here. Note the frame rate counter in the upper right corner of the game. I'm playing in 4K with most of my settings on high, except AA, AO, and post-processing. I'm using the OEM FPS counter, not my usual play claw overlay. That doesn't record really well. Also, bear in mind that I have a soft configured limit of 140 frames per second. I do this because my Asus 4K panel is G-Sync capable, and it's best to keep the frame rate a few frames under max refresh. Therefore, I feel 4K at 140 frames per second is a good balance. As you can see, my machine is struggling to even hit 140. What you can't see, because the MSI Afterburner graph is on another display for me, is that my single GPU is basically running at or near 100%. And those massive frame dumps you're seeing when the frame rate goes from over 100 something to well, back, well under and then back up, that's obviously not due to SLI because this is all with SLI disabled. It's the game's engine and everyone gets them. You may or may not realize you're getting them, but you are. The higher the frame rate you run, the more pronounced the dumps seem to be. I'll hush now while you watch me die a lot. Just keep an eye on that FPS counter. Heads up, charge is set! Charge is set, watch it! Setting charges.
Fortunately, this is a fairly easy thing to remedy. I purchased two 2080 Ti cards, damn it, I want to use both of them. So let's make that happen. If we call up the NVIDIA control panel and look at the 3D settings tab, we find Battlefield 5 already has an entry. If we scroll down to the SLI setting, we see single GPU. Attempting to change that leads to nothing. It just returns to single GPU. This is a problem in the SLI profile somewhere. The handy tool called NVIDIA Inspector can help us out here. You can see I already have it loaded up with Battlefield 5's entry. In looking at the SLI section, it says single GPU in a couple of these places. I actually tried changing those both to auto select so that it would just follow the defaults I had set in the NVIDIA control panel. That didn't work at all. I'm not sure what other bit I need to flip in the existing Battlefield 5 SLI profile to enable all the GPUs, so I decided to go a different route. I deleted the bfv.exe and bfvtrial.exe executables from the Battlefield 5 profile completely. Then loaded up the Battlefield 1 profile and added them there. Please note, this isn't something DICE will support. Neither will NVIDIA. Neither will I. If you want to do this, you do so at your own risk. Let's save the changes, check our work in N and check our work in the NVIDIA control panel. Sure enough, it's using the system defaults now, which means SLI is enabled. You'll also note that the bfv.exe executable actually says Battlefield 1 in the control panel. That was due to the edit we just made. It won't hurt anything. The better place to check our work is in the game, of course. Back to Aras TDM. Note how much higher the frame rate is, oftentimes slamming into my 140 frame per second limit. I still have those massive frame dumps, and they're even a bit more pronounced now that the game is running at such a higher frame rate. This is something DICE really needs to address because it's obnoxious. But regardless, watch and keep an eye on that counter.
Now here are a few things to keep in mind with this change. The first is a repeat of what I said earlier. Neither DICE nor NVIDIA are going to support this. This is one of those on your own sort of things. The second is somewhat related to the first. Because this isn't officially supported, you may see or note some visual glitches in the game with SLI running. So far, I've been fortunate and haven't seen any of those, but there's always the chance. The third is that if you do proper NVIDIA driver installations by first using DDU to clean everything off your system, you're going to have to go back into the NVIDIA inspector each time you do a driver update and repeat these steps. Ultimately, I know that if you're anti-SLI, nothing I said here is going to change your mind. And that's fine. I'm not attempting to try to change it. Continue enjoying your games with a single GPU and all is good. I'm more trying to explain the why and how I enabled it for Battlefield 5 for those that may be interested in trying it. Maybe someday, DICE will get DX12 MGPU working in Battlefield 5 and we can rejoice and leave DX11 behind. Or perhaps they'll polish up the Battlefield 5 DX11 SLI profile so that we don't need to use the inspector to edit it. Either way, until one or both of those happen, I'm going to continue editing it. Leave any comments and questions below in the appropriate section. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you later.